Welcome once again to my shop. You can categorize this video under unfinished business. Yesterday, this little hollow form looked something like this. Rough turned. This is dated August of 2014. So these pieces are plenty dry and they're ready to turn. Now let me turn my lathe on. And I'll show you, this is really out of balance, but when I put this piece away, I had sanded it and finished it pretty well. So I didn't really do much to the outside. It's out of balance, but that's okay. I, I did take a lot of the weight out from the inside. The topic for today is going to be applying an oil finish to this piece. Ordinarily, I would spray some lacquer on this, something like that. Now what I have on this piece up to this point are four or five coats of shellac. Shellac flakes with a little bit of mineral oil on there and I've cut that back a little bit with some very fine sandpaper. Now I've added the shellac mainly as a sealer but it's important to do this after you have applied any color you want to put on the piece. It's very smooth and I'm ready to apply some oil. So let's uh, readjust the camera and I'll show you what I'm going to do and how I finish a piece like this. What I'm going to put on here is a combination of tongue oil finish. It's a Minwax product and I've got a little bit of boiled linseed oil in there and some paint thinner to thin it down just a little bit. Now what I'll do is I'll put maybe two or three coats of this formulation on here and then I'll just put pure Minwax on there just to get a little bit more of a shine. Uh, I like where this is going. Yesterday what I did was I applied some blue dye on the inside of that pot. So I don't know if you can see it up here. And I've just got that jam between some centers. And then I put some brown dye or stain on the outside to fill it in. Okay, and here's a little bit of ripple, which I like to leave lighter, and that'll show up better. So first thing I'm going to do is take a very clean shop rag. And I actually got this from the automotive department at one of the big box stores. It works very well. So you want to get all the, the dust off there as best you can. And... I've sanded this back a little bit so it's very smooth and all I'm going to do is just take a, a blue shop paper towel and I'm just going to apply that to my pot and I'm going to do that rather liberally right on here and I can even turn that on make sure I get a good coating of my finish on there. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the direction of the grain. This is an end grain pot. There's a good shot of the turquoise. I had a big crack in there. I filled it with turquoise and I like that a lot. People love turquoise. So I've got that on there. I'm going to just let that sit for five or ten minutes. And I'm going to go in a different part of my shop and do something else. And I'm going to come back to this. So I'm back to my little project here. And I want to make sure that the finish I'm putting on here has not dried very much on the surface. So I'm going to just wipe that off. And I mean wipe all of it off as much as I can. There'll be a, a thin coating of that left. And that's all I want on there. Okay, now it's not a bad idea to just let that dry for maybe 20 minutes or something and then put another coat on. So what I'll do is I'll put maybe three or four coats on just like this. Let me put one more coat on real fast. This is very simple. There's nothing too complicated about this. And I'm going to turn my lathe on just make this a little bit easier. 
And again, I'm going to go with the grain and just kind of smooth that out. So I would put three or four more coats on like this. It's very simple. I'd let that dry a little bit more. Go to another part of my shop and work on something else and come back to this. Now, this has got Minwax product in it, a tongue oil finish. It's probably not a lot of tongue oil in there, but the point is that sort of product will dry very quickly on the surface. Okay, one reason I'm not putting tongue oil on this is that tongue oil is designed to sit right below the surface. Well, I thought I'd show you the product I'm using actually. This is a Minwax antique oil finish. But these are designed to sit on the surface and they dry very quickly. So you have to watch this. You don't want that to dry too much on the surface. So I've taken my dry shop towel and I'm going to wipe that down again. And I can feel that it's starting to dry on the surface, which is okay. You want, you want that to happen. It's not what you put on, it's what you take off. Now let me show you one more thing I might do with this um, in between applications of the finish. Let's say I've let this dry very well for 20 minutes or half an hour. I'm going to turn my lathe on and I'm going to just buff that a little bit. Now one reason I want to make sure this is dry is if I do this with a, a shop towel and it's not dry, I'm going to leave rings around the outside of my vessel. And I'm starting to get a little bit of a shine on there, and that's what I want. Let's go on to the next step. Okay, now the last step in this process, I will apply this finish straight. I won't thin it down. It's going to dry on the surface, and it's going to make it a lot shinier. So I put some of that in a little container here. I don't need very much. There's maybe an ounce or so in there. So I'm going to take a clean shop towel and put it in my finish here. And again, I'm going to just turn that on. And I'm just flooding the surface. You may think this is not very pretty, but that's okay. Now I'm going to do one application like this. All right, I'm going to let that dry, okay, then I'm going to come back to it. All right, again, I'm going to wipe this down, and I'm going to wipe it all off. As you can tell, there's nothing really difficult about this. I'm probably just leaving a very, very slight film on there with each application. I want to make sure I don't have any little bits of shiny finish left on there, so I'm taking that all off. Now I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm starting to develop a pretty nice shine on that. It's not really too shiny, not like a lacquer shine, but that's very cool. And eventually, after a few days of drying, I can put this on my buffing mop and buff that. You can buff an oil, but it's got to be really dry. Here's the last step. And I'm going to take just a little bit on my paper towel here, and I'm going to apply one more final coat. I'm going to just make sure I've coated the entire surface very well. I want to make sure I get all the dry spots on there. I'm going with the grain. Kind of inspect that. That looks pretty good. Now, the final step, I'm not going to wipe this off. I'm going to let that dry completely. And that may take an hour 
before I can touch that. But that's the finish I want on there. Just a little bit of wetness right now. It's going to dry on the surface. Well, I'm very happy with this little pot. I think it came out very nicely. I like the color combination. I love blue and brown. And it's a little bit subtle, but I like it. And it's got a very nice low sheen on that. It's not very shiny. And you can really see the wood very nicely. And I think you can see how easy it is to apply some sort of an oil on there. You just have to kind of experiment with the oil that you like. And uh, there you have it. So thank you very much for tuning in once more. And please share my videos. I really appreciate that. It helps me a little bit. And if I'm not mistaken, this may be video 300. Yikes. Talk to you next time.